The movie begins in a laundry area of a young girl's home. A hidden camera is attached to a standard electric fan. A shadow of a mysterious person creeps through the other room. The electric fan pans to the other side again, and upon returning to the side of the young girl, she is seen struggling to back away from her killer. The next morning, news journalists report the news of a chilling and gruesome event about the four family members found dead in their homes. The reporter informs the viewer that dozens of miniature cameras were found inside the property, hidden in household objects. The police being interviewed tell the news reporters that the killers are broadcasting their crimes as a live feed. News reporters interview people who had seen the murder through their devices, unaware that it was real. And a news reporter says that one of the family members is missing. The killer, after watching the broadcast of the news report, begins to select a new victim, a teenage girl named Jamie Miller. On the killer's computer screen shows a file called Watching Her and stolen videos of Jamie Miller that are hidden from her and her family. From her swimming in the pool of her home to her speaking to a therapist about having the same nightmare every night, her deceased mother being eaten away by bugs right in front of her. Jamie and her therapist talk about how Jamie's father must have been upset over the loss of his wife. But to Jamie's dismay, her father brought home a new girlfriend a day after and soon became her stepmother. The teenager complains about having to spend 10 days on vacation with him. Jamie and her family return home from the vacation, unaware that cameras have been set up in every corner of the house. DJ, Jamie's brother, gets settled and heats up food in the microwave, while Jamie notices that something happened to her wallpaper. She confronts her family, especially her stepmother. She later walks away after finding out that her parents didn't bother asking for her opinion. Later that night, as DJ is ordered to take out the trash, he finds a lighter and a red ribbon attached to it. He then gets startled by an unexpected visit from his uncle Matt, who comes and asks to spend the night. Their father Carl agrees and informs his wife Olivia that Matt will only be there for three nights, but she's not happy about it. When Olivia goes to the stockroom and grabs some linens for Matt to hand to Carl, she finds a black box with a red ribbon attached to it. Olivia then goes to the bathroom to check the black box to find pictures of Matt with his old wife. Subsequently, Matt goes to Jamie's room and talks with her. The teenage girl says that she is not fond of her new stepmother, thinking that she is trying to replace her real mother, but Matt assures Jamie that she has nothing to worry about. Afterwards, Jamie Skype calls her boyfriend, intending to tell him she might be pregnant, but backs out and ends the call. When everyone gets ready for bed, Matt goes outside to look for his phone inside his car. He suddenly hears strange noises coming from the backyard and decides to go check it out. Upon arriving at the area where the noise is playing, he sees a drone flying directly in front of him. The wind coming from the drone blows some leaves off the ground and he notices a red X taped on the ground of where he's standing. He is then attacked from behind with a hook. A distorted voice is heard saying that it has started. A man known as the Terror breaks into the house and puts an hourglass in front of one of the hidden cameras. Meanwhile, Jamie quietly goes to the bathroom to take a pregnancy test. As she's waiting, the Terror goes inside the parents' bedroom and takes everyone's phones. The Terror then seals all the windows outside using folding metal scissor gates, startling Jamie and waking up the entire family. Carl goes downstairs to see what the noise is. He instructs Olivia to call the police but she comes back telling her that the phones are gone. Carl instructs them to go inside their bedrooms and to lock the door. Jamie refuses and goes downstairs to follow her dad. Carl finds a lit flashlight with a bow on it. He tries to check the telephone, but no luck. Carl uses the flashlight and makes his way into the room where Maddie is supposedly staying. He finds a red X taped on the floor. He calls his brother's name, but no sign of him. When Carl goes into the kitchen, he gets startled by the flash of a camera and a photo of someone standing behind him is taken. He sees this and turns around. Jamie pleads with her father to go back upstairs, but Carl refuses and continues to look for the culprit. When he turns around, he's smothered to death with a plastic bag in front of everyone. Jamie, DJ, and Olivia lock themselves in the master bedroom, using the closet drawers as a barricade. Olivia tells the kids that their main priority 
is to get out of the house. When Olivia breaks the window, she and Jamie start screaming for help. They spot Matt's dead body in the backyard. Afterwards, they find that the family has been watched for months without anyone knowing, especially Jamie. The TV shows clips of Jamie talking about Olivia. Olivia throws a fit thinking that they are being pranked by Jamie's friends. As the remaining family members try to look for a way out, they find a camera attached to some balloons. Jamie hears vibrations and runs to her bedroom to look for her phone. She gets startled by her TV showing a live feed. DJ finds the camera is attached to a taser. They learn that their only chance to survive is to kill the terror. As Olivia and DJ slowly make their way downstairs, they come to find that the front door has been barricaded. The three of them all hide in the basement where a knife with the bow on it is discovered. Suddenly, they hear the sound of the police, but they soon realize that it is a recording. Meanwhile, the drone flies back down onto Matt's body, revealing Matt still alive as he moves one of his fingers. Subsequently, Josh comes to the house. The remaining family members find him and Jamie starts screaming from the basement. Josh is then hacked with an ax and suffocated to death with a plastic bag as running water from the hose continues to drown him. While Jamie cries for the loss of her boyfriend, DJ tries to comfort her big sister. Olivia finds a way out of the house. She instructs the two kids to stay inside the basement and promises to come back for the both of them. Olivia finds a red X taped on the ground by the gate and a key hanging on a red ribbon. Matt finds her and startles her. Matt turns to see the terror and gets killed with an ax as he screams for Olivia to run. She manages to unlock the gate and runs towards the street. Just as Olivia escapes, a van pulls up. She is told to climb out back. She goes there and gets attacked again. Back in the basement, DJ goes inside a room to use the toilet. He gets locked in the room while Jamie is attacked. She crawls underneath the table and finds a red X and uses a taser she found earlier in her room on the intruder. As she tries to crawl out, the intruder wakes up, but DJ stabs the intruder with a knitting needle, ending him. They unmask the intruder, revealing it to be the girl that was reported missing from the family in the last murder. Thinking they are safe, Jamie and DJ go back upstairs. DJ then cares for his sister's wound. Not long after, they look around and find Olivia's body on the dining table, covered with a tablecloth. They also find Jamie's positive pregnancy test and videos of her mother and father with baby Jamie. The doors behind her swing open, revealing the terror. She shouts for her brother to run as she tries to fight the intruder. Jamie is pushed to the floor and DJ grabs his sister and they run to hide behind a desk where their fish tank is placed. The telephone rings. Jamie answers and soon enough, they discover that people all over the world are watching and Jamie tries to tell them to call the police, but is bleeped out and so no one will know their address. Jamie finds a mask with a bow on it and both her and DJ plan to escape. While walking around the house, they find the terror. Jamie uses the knife they found at the basement and threatens the intruder to get out of their house. DJ then pours gasoline on him, but gets thrown to the other side of the room. While Jamie tries to run away, the terror grabs her to a spot where another red X is taped on the floor. The terror suffocates Jamie, who still tries to fight back. Jamie soon stops to struggle. The terror, thinking Jamie is dead, stands up and goes for DJ. But the teenager stands up and throws a lighter at the killer, setting the house on fire in the process. Jamie and DJ escape to the road to find the same van that captured Olivia earlier. They get captured by the creator and the terror who survived. They discover that the girl they killed was the missing member of the previous family. She was kidnapped and forced to aid them in the attack on Jamie's family. The movie ends when the creator tells Jamie that if she aids them, her brother will be safe. The creator tasers Jamie and says that she will give the online audience a reason to keep watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.